Hello and welcome to the fifth video of the SQL for Beginners lecture series. Uh, in the previous video, we saw how to import a CSV file into our database. Uh, so in this video, we will see how to use the select statement. So what is the select statement? When working with database and SQL, the most common task is to request data from one or more tables and display it. Okay? And uh, this can be done by the select statement. The select statement can do far more than simply retrieve and display data. Uh, in this video, we'll also see how to create new columns uh, as a like uh, if we calculate some value from some column and give it an, a name under a different column and store that value we can also see how to do that right we'll also see how to uh, uh, do text concatenation that is combining two columns and naming it as a single column which contains both the data okay so let us uh, now open the microsoft sql server management studio and see how to do all of this stuff right Okay, so I have opened the Microsoft SQL Manage, uh, SQL Server Management Studio and uh, I'll try to, what I'll do is, uh, in the last video, in the previous video, we saw that we loaded the data uh, of a CSV file into this cars database, okay, and uh, we created a table called car, which uh, has all the data that was in the CSV file, right. So now what we'll try to do is, we'll try to display that data, okay. So in order to do this, first of all, uh, let's write it down. Okay, we use dash dash to write comments which are ignored while execution, right? So uh, you know, if you have to give out any information or for documentation purposes, we use comments. So display out the data in the card table. Okay, out the card table, out the card table. Okay. So to do that, we write select select asterisk which means everything select everything from the car table okay if i try to execute or run this i'll get back my data okay so this is everything <coughs> it is a make column that is the car manufacturer the model the year then uh, engine fuel type uh, all this all this information engine hp engine cylinders etc then uh, Suppose I want to, suppose I want to select uh, just a few columns, okay, not the entire thing. So suppose I want to select uh, make, then model uh, year uh, and market category. Market category again from car table, okay. So suppose I select this and try to run it i'll get some error and this error is basically it says invalid column name market so what happens is when we execute it it reads make find that there's a column named uh, make okay then another uh, then it goes to the next one uh, it reads model so again it finds the model column so that's fine here there is also a keyword i think so but but uh, i don't know why it is colored but uh, there is a way of uh, uh, removing all this and again when it comes to market category it's it reads market okay this blank and category are ignored because it is not part of the uh, sql that's not how we write sql codes right so what happens it sees market and it tries to find a market column and because we do not have one it gives us this error so in order to avoid this what we do is we wrap it with square brackets okay so we can use it for the other other uh, columns as well like wrap it around with square brackets and uh, now if I try to run it we'll see we get back our uh, data okay so this is how we can select very uh, the only the columns that we want we can also do one thing like uh, what you can do is suppose for example uh, I select the number of doors column okay and uh, I try to run it so I'll see that there's a numbers of door column as well which was there in the table data uh, car table 
so now uh, if i want to create another table okay uh, which uh, has the value of uh, like for example if i want to create a t uh, column name call uh, twice okay for example just an example so what i can do is which calculates the uh, which gives us the value of two times the number of doors okay so for that what you can do is i can write number of doors number of doors like this use something uh, okay then use mul sorry multiplied by 2 okay and use something called as alias which is as and you what do you want to call the column name uh, for example i want to call it twice now if i run this i'll see that i'll see there's a twice column created which is which uh, has the data uh, uh, nothing but twice the number of data present in the number of doors okay column so uh, for example it has two here in uh, for this one for the serial number one it has number of doors equal to two and twice is we found we find that it has a value of four it is two times the number of doors similarly if we go down if i go to uh, this four that is eight if it is two it is four right so like that uh, we can create uh, new columns uh, which has calculated values okay one more um, piece of code which helps us to get some idea about the uh, table data is exec uh, sp underscore help and then name of the table so if i run this i'll get information about the table data for example we have c we have the name of the table is car okay <coughs> then it is uh, we get the name uh, we get the time date time uh, uh, like when it was created uh, today is 26th august i created it last night uh, yeah last night so it, it says 25th of august and it also gives us the column name all this is there it also gives us the data type so this is very important so now suppose i want to change uh, change the data type okay so what i want to do is um so we'll see how to get the uh, information about our table okay for that uh, we'll write this uh, query exc exec sp underscore help and uh, write the name of the table right so if i run this execute i'll get information about our table see it has the column name the table name and uh, data type and the length of the data data type i mean the amount of space it is taken up so uh, now what i want to do is i want to change uh, the suppose i want to change the data type of number of doors okay it is it is integer right so uh, what i want to do is i want to change it to varchar so what i can do is i can write alter table card and then alter column column uh, number of cars number no, sorry number of doors and change it to varchar right so if i run this and execute then i'll execute this code again so i'll see that the <coughs> number of doors number of doors where is it <coughs> number of doors yeah see it has changed to varchar so you can change the data type like this okay now we'll look at something called as text concatenation uh, here what we'll try to do is we'll try to say for example uh, let me run this once say we want to like uh, combine uh, make uh, column and model column and name it as a single column okay okay uh, so what I'll do is I'll select I'll select for example I want to select first uh, I'll select make 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 and uh, give it a separator for example I want to I want to give a comma or maybe space it out a little bit and then again at the model okay and give it a name for example car data uh, model data maybe something like this and i also want to select the year 
okay and uh, then from car so what this will do is it will combine I will combine see I have a new column name called model da model data which has the mo uh, the car manufacturer and the model and also we get the year so this is how we can like uh, combine two columns into a single one and rename it okay so that is called as uh, text concatenation I think uh, this is uh, enough for the select common and uh, yeah I think we have seen how to select display uh, data from a table I also seen how to display specific columns how to like uh, uh, generate a new column uh, by calculating some value okay we have also seen how to get uh, information about our table and then change the data type uh, and then we have also seen what text concatenation means okay then how we can like combine two columns into a single one with a different name I think this is it for t uh, this video and uh, in the next video i think we will uh, get into where like uh, we'll uh, use a different filter okay to get to be uh, to uh, display more specific data okay so on that note i think um, i'll end this video and i'll see you soon then thank you